Hello everyone, welcome to heat transfer analysis series from Not Real Engineering. This series has three parts. In first part, we will see steady state conduction analysis. In second part, we will see transient conduction analysis. And in third part, we will see conduction plus convection analysis. Let's start with the first part, steady state conduction. Geometry of problem is as shown over here. It's a three dimensional slab and we will apply a temperature boundary condition on this surface and we will apply a flux boundary conditions on this surface and we will assume all other surfaces are perfectly insulated. The value of temperature boundary condition is shown over here. Value of flux boundary condition is given and all the dimensions are given in this figure which are in meters. Just to explain briefly what is steady state analysis. So initially the temperature of whole body will be zero degrees Kelvin. And when we apply a temperature boundary condition and flux boundary condition, the temperature of body will start changing. And after certain time, it will reach a steady state after which the temperature of body will not change. So we will not know how the temperature is changing with respect to time, but we will get only final steady state values. Also steady state conduction equation can be given as shown over here. So you can see there is no time and it's a pretty simple equation. So for material properties, we will need only this value, which is thermal conductivity. We will assume the material of our slab is gold and the value of thermal conductivity of gold is given over here. And as always, we will stick with SI units. Let's start with Abacus CA. So first set your working directory and then start with module part. First, let's create part. Three dimensional deformable solid shape. First, you can just draw the geometry approximately and later we can adjust its dimensions. Then adjust the dimensions. And then to make it symmetric, we will give distance between these two points, vertical distance to be 0 0.2. Done. And the thickness is again 0 0.2. So our part is ready. Next, go to property module. Create a material named gold. Now, as I said, we have to give only conductivity value. So conductivity is 320. Create a section, solid homogeneous section and assign the section to our part. Next, go to assembly module, create an instance and then step module. So now over here, when we create a step, we have to create a heat transfer step. Click continue. And then we have to select steady state. And when you select steady state, a pop-up window will open, which will say default load variation with time has been changed to ramp linearly over step. What that means is the boundary conditions what we apply, those will be applied linearly with ramp amplitude. Keep time period as one. You don't have to change anything over here. Just say okay. Next, go to load. Now this surface, we want to apply temperature. So temperature boundary condition. And you have to apply for step one, temperature. Select this surface and magnitude is 300. So over here you can see the amplitude will be ramp by default. Now let's apply flux boundary condition. Choose surface heat flux. Select this surface and the value is 50,000. When the value is positive, that means heat is going inside the body. When value is negative, that means heat is coming out of the body. 
go to mesh first go to part because our mesh will be on part now what you have to do here is first go to mesh go to element type select this domain and here you have to change this element type to heat transfer you don't have to change anything again over here but just go to standard linear heat transfer element say okay seed the part maybe a little bit finer i always like fine mesh okay let's mesh the part next step is creating job steady state heat transfer and that's it submit it it is just asking if you want any history output but i don't think we need any history output so say yes done let's go to results so these are the results so currently you are looking at flux values and if you want to see the temperature just go over here and change to nt11 so this is the temperature distribution after steady state is reached so you can see on this surface the temperature is 300 kelvin and this is the hottest surface where temperature is around 410 kelvin and this is the temperature distribution if you check flux you will see over here on this surface the flux value is about 50000 which we prescribed if you like this video please show your support by subscribing to this channel which will give me motivation to create more educational videos like these you can also go to channels playlist tab and here you can see all the videos with similar topics combined together for example let's say if you are interested in ansys tutorials you can go to this ansys tutorial playlist and see all the videos from this playlist all the codes and files which i use for these videos are also available for you to directly download from this channel's github profile the link of this profile is given in the description box below if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section below and as always thank you for watching